Naomi Watts has a new film on Netflix where a bird is the only thing that can cheer her up after she's paralyzed. Not her family, a bird. All right, I'm gonna go cry. Welcome back movie watchers. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming videos. Today we're gonna talk about the new upcoming Netflix film, Penguin Bloom, which is based on a true story starring Naomi Watts and Andrew Lincoln. A family takes in an injured magpie that makes a profound difference in their lives. Naomi Watts plays Sam Bloom. She was on holiday with her family and she fell over a balcony that was a near fatal experience that left her paralyzed. She struggled to come to terms with her current situation and her husband played by Andrew Lincoln took care of the children and took care of her and they found an injured magpie which they named penguin and she is left alone several times throughout the movie to take care of this bird and this bird brought a huge difference to their lives she became happier and the bird brought the family together this is an inspiring story it's very sweet i thought the connection between this magpie and the family was really honestly truly touching and I looked at the credits of this movie and 10 birds ended up playing penguin throughout the movie. Very impressed with the birds acting and how I was able to connect with this family. That's probably the biggest thing that worked for this movie is honestly that connection between this family and this bird and how it felt like a pet to them and part of the family too to where the bird followed them wherever they went. Family went over to a relative's house, the bird would come along too and poop everywhere, but the bird would join them and they felt connected to this bird, where at first they thought, you know, the bird was not gonna stay here for too long and then we're gonna take care of it, it's just gonna leave. It stayed for a pretty long time and the bird ended up being a big part of their lives. So I thought that was a, a touching moment. The acting in here is really good too. Naomi Watts, once again, great actress. She does a really good job in this role. Early on in the movie, she's very depressed. She's upset with everything that's going on in her life. She has every right to be. She's in the bed most of the day. She can't take care of herself. And Andrew Lincoln's really good in the movie as well, taking care of the family and trying to be a loving husband as well. But overall, the acting was really good, providing some emotional moments in the beginning of the film. Unfortunately, this is a cookie cutter family drama. All of the moments in here, the emotional moments and the family elements, all seem like something that I've seen before. Not the story so much, but the way that it is presented. It never really reaches a personal or emotional level that I would expect for a drama like this about a family that connects with a bird and brings the family together. I expected a little more personal touch to it and a little more dramatic scenes. And while there are some dramatic scenes, they never really reach a level that I would expect from a film like this. Naomi Watts and Andrew Lincoln provide those moments, but overall, I feel like it's lacking in that department. But it is very touching and heartwarming to see this family who a lot of things were taken away from them. The kids all were used to their mother being very involved, and now she's in the bed most of the day, and they really don't get to see her in this bird comes in and really changes a lot of stuff and so I felt that to be a really touching moment to the story and probably the best thing is the connection between this family and the bird and how they were able to kind of help each other because this bird was injured there was comments about how the bird has its wings and is not able to fly just like the mother has her legs and she's not able to walk they were able to connect over that I really like the progression of Sam how she thought a lot about different things in her life and how she's not able to walk and she was very depressed to the bird bringing out some more emotions and the personality and the love for her family. Overall, Penguin Bloom was a good film. I thought it was touching and heartwarming, but it did lack some personal touches and an emotional moments as well. I like the story. It's a different kind of story. It's not something when you see the story you would expect to be a motion picture, but it is and it works. And I just gotta say, the name Penguin for this magpie is very sweet and the bird is very adorable and I would like to see him be nominated for an Oscar. And the Oscar goes to...
I'm gonna go ahead and give Penguin Bloom a B minus. Thank you guys for checking my review for Penguin Bloom. It did air at TIFF last year around September. So if you guys have seen it, what do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming videos. You guys are the best as always. My name is Just Watchers Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.